Hello friends! Long time no see, it is I, not Marie, and welcome back to the channel. For today, we are just doing some quick little cast updates for my main sims in my Generation 2 of Family Dynamics. I know that last episode, they got engaged, and I am so excited because, oh my god, it's so cute. I still have to kind of plan around what I'm going to do with the wedding. I want it to be sometime soon, but... I don't know, because I also have maybe been working on another, uh, what's it called? A Let's Play? So, we'll see. But, like I said, I have my Family Dynamic Sims. This is Cynthia Ratliff. She is my heir for Generation 2. And, like, I removed my mods folder and just kind of started over. So, I'm giving her and her partner... Uh, I guess fiance at this one. I'm gonna her and her fiance. Just some updated, you know, definitely not base game, but uh, no CC outfits, which is pretty fun and exciting. I do kind of miss having the skin CC because EA skin is not the best, but you know, what can you do? I guess Cynthia is kind of like darker alternative I guess you could say some sort of like academic what is it dark academia but like also kind of not she was super into like scene core as a teenager and that was really fun but I feel like now she's kind of a little bit more toned down some more like reds in her outfits now here's the thing I really like to theme my sims around specific colors. Not that, like, I have to for family dynamics, but I just think it's easier to, like, dress them up. So for Cynthia, I do have black and, like, this deep burgundy red. Also, her hair I love. I'm so excited for the wedding. I wanted to download CC for it, but then I was like, no, that kind of goes, like, against what I'm trying to do. I did download some poses, though, which I feel like are the one place where I'm okay like, you know, doing something else with something else. So, you know, we'll see. I'm so excited. I'm kind of working on getting things done in more of like a machinima-esque style. Just because I think that it's fun to do it that way. And it allows me to just have fun. Honestly, speaking of this, like, let's play, like my family dynamics let's play, I kind of want to maybe turn the aging up to long and maybe turn the like weather to two weeks just because I think it'll give me more time to play with my sims. Before I ended my hiatus, I like spent a lot of time really slow burning this relationship and it was just a really good time to hang out and play with my sims. And I think I might want to do that a little bit more often. I think it keeps me from getting burnt out or just overwhelmed by, like, making videos. Because I am also have, like, my vlog channel. Like, this is, this, this gaming channel has kind of become, like, my second channel. And I'm starting up a full-time job here in, like, a week or so. And I just also have sad brain <laughs> so you know it's not a great combination but you know I'm really hoping to be a little bit more consistent and by that I mean you might see a video from me maybe once a month maybe twice a month if we're feeling more exciting but I guess next episode of Family Dynamics should be in a while I have a build that I want to upload and show y'all and then I have the first few episodes of a new let's play that I'm doing that I'm excited for so we'll see how it goes now I do want to go back to family dynamics I know fun little uh PSA for the channel for this year out of the way family dynamics I have to get Cynthia and oh my god what's her girlfriend's name how could I forget this that's so embarrassing I'm sorry Tiffany oh my god Tiffany how could I forget because my fabulous friend socks made Tiffany for me and honestly like Tiffany and Cynthia's first date was kind of like a little bit awkward but they really hit it off and 
everything after that is just so sweet and exciting for them. But I'm thinking we could go one of two routes. I'm thinking that I'm going to have them get married in my Shino Meadows. I already have like the lot ready for a wedding. And I want to do that because they already live in Sei Maishuno and I want them to move out of Sei Maishuno. Like I want them to live somewhere, maybe, I don't even know if I want to say like a little more suburban, but like I just want them to maybe have like an actual house that's a little bit bigger, but I also have to build that. I don't know. We'll see. I have, I'm kind of like wishy-washy on it. I'm going back and forth a lot because I just don't know what I want to do from here. Um, like I said, this is generation two, so it's the why would I ever leave? So, you know, Cynthia at this point is just basically going to become a shut in. And I do want Tiff to have some fun things to go out and hang out and do stuff and whatnot. Um, because I removed the modeling career, she is now an actress. So I think that's really fun and exciting for her. And I think it kind of, you know, works with the nepotism vibes that Tiff has going on. Um, but I don't know, maybe, actually, no, I don't even know. I don't know what to do with their house. Like, where do we move? I know that I want them to adopt for a child or maybe they could have a science baby. I mean, they do have the money for a science baby. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think, I think I want them to have one to two kids. I have to double check the rules, but I think what I'm going to do is, if I'm allowed up to two kids, they're going to have a science baby and we're also going to have, uh, probably Tiff is going to carry probably, but then like, um, so yes, science baby, but then also maybe adopt a child. We'll see. We'll see what kind of order we do that in as well. Cause it's both basically around the same. And like, I know that socks said that Tiff is tech technically a trans woman but like listen gender in the sims is kind of a weird subject like gender and sex are kind of weird in the sims like technically we have masculine feminine man and woman or whatever but like you can kind of just magic body parts and like abilities or non-abilities to have children so like there's quite a few things going on that don't exactly correlate with the real world. And yeah, honestly, I feel like Cynthia would absolutely hate, hate being pregnant. And I think Tiff would maybe not have like the best time of it. But I think she would absolutely like love to, I don't know, maybe not be pregnant, but like be cute and be pregnant you know what I mean you know what I mean like you know if we had more better social media in the sims 4 like she would absolutely be like making like pregnancy vlogs you know I, I th that's the kind of vibes I get from Tiff and I don't mean that in, the ne in a, like a bad way I mean that as like a this is very cute and I'm having so much fun but also oh boy pregnancy can be a little difficult you know not that I would know from personal experience but uh, <laughs> those are just kind of like the vibes and you know, we'll see. I can't remember if you can have a science baby, like with s your partner. I, I don't remember how that works. <laughs> you can tell it's been a while since I've played the game. <laughs> in fact, in my other let's play that I'm doing that I'm kind of like filming right now, it is a uh, oh boy. I'm working through a lot of things. I'm like, dang, I don't remember how to do this. I don't remember how this works anyways. So you know, we're having fun, we're having a good time. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I forgot to mention that Tiff is super, like, preppy. Very pink, like pastel pink. Very feminine, very cute. That is how uh, socks, like, you know, uh, made the sim to look like. And... I, you know, socks made it a little bit more scandalous, a little bit more saucy. Uh, but I've kind of taken the chance of making her just a little bit less saucy because, like, there's not a whole lot of, like, I don't think that there's a whole lot of, like, good saucy 
clothing in The Sims 4. Like, there's not... I mean, like, there are, but, like, they don't come in, like, pink or white or, like, pastels. Like, it all comes in, like, darker colors, which isn't really the vibe. So, I did take some creative liberties. I'm so sorry. But now that I'm looking back at this, now that I bought the full rent pack, I think that one of the long hairs would work better than this hair that she has right now. So, I might have to change that before next episode. I don't know. Honestly, I'm, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Let me know what you think uh, we should do with our family dynamics. I am excited to get back into playing games and whatnot. So I'm excited for what 2024 has for us. And uh, I hope you stick around for the next one. I'm going to have at the end of this, like the little end card or whatever, is going to have uh, the playlist for my family dynamics season two. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.